Yeah, go ahead and rip. If there's anything else you needed to say, bro? Well, I'd like to put this out again. Um, with the American Warrior Revolution, anybody that's listening, if that's a good way to contact us. If you're interested, if you're there and you're interested in, in getting some, some training from us while we're here in town, it's free, no cost. We're here for you guys. Um, good way to contact us is there at the page. And um, we do have, we are bringing, you know, our personal weapons for anybody who's there that doesn't, may not have theirs, that wants to train while we're here. Um, all that's open. So just uh, just get in t- contact with us there, there, there on the page, and we'll help you know, any way we can. Sure, man. I mean, with your notion and your capabilities and your background, I, I just want to reinforce uh, what's been stated again is that, you know, uh, through point A to point B, you know, verify that you're adhering to those laws the best you can, man. You know, keep uh, ammo out of the guns and separated. Probably want to keep them in the trunk. Um, you're coming there as a peaceful protester on hot ground. Um, I'd like you to go ahead and chime back in. Uh, chime back in when you do get there. Um, I'm jotting down your information. Um, I'm going to add you to the boots on the ground group, and uh, I'm going to be texting you some more of the boots on the ground guys. So once we get, you know, more people out there uh, that are able to kind of give us some feedback of exactly what the hay is going on right now, um, you know, that'd be great. You're headed there, so I'm kind of counting on you right now, man, to uh, you know take a little charge in social initiative, as you have, obviously. But, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, give us some background when you get down there, okay? Roger that, absolutely. Thanks for what you're doing, right. man. Um, as of right now, your comms 10, okay, bro? Roger that, thanks. Yep. Bye-bye. Uh, I've got five people that just keyed in, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the call forward. Anything else you want to chime in with real quick, bro? No, man, that's all I have. Um, we're here to help and, and just, you know, pray that everything comes out just, uh, you know, just like the way it started, peaceful, calmly, and we uh, hope to make a difference. Ten four, good buddy. Uh, as of right now, you are boots on the ground, comms 10, okay? Gotcha, man. Thanks. Uh, you bet. Um, moving on to the next caller with the next question. Uh, 9838, you've got, uh, you've got the floor. Hey there. Uh, my name's Paul. I'm, uh, I'm from the Bay Area in California, and uh, I just wanted to thank you for, for what you've done. I, I've been listening to the uh, conversations for the last few hours. A friend of mine turned me on to what was going on. I, I had been watching, uh, of course, you can't see this in the mainstream news. Uh, I found this out on Drudge and a, a couple of the Facebook groups I belong to. And it just it blew me away Some a story this big. It's just getting buried and, and not even a mention because of the state of our, our country is in. You know, it, it's just, it's, it's disgraceful. And it just shows me that there's part of a master plan, how uh, they want, they want us to be sheep and be silent. And, and I'm glad that something like this, you know, it's going to take something like this to set it off where you have, I, I was amazed at the initial uh, outpouring, how many supporters uh, came around uh, Mr. Bundy in his plight, and uh, it, to me it was very encouraging because where I live, I'm surrounded by liberals, and, and they're basically uh, useful idiots. You know, they, they, um, they're, they're in a total, they're, they're brainwashed, and, and you can't even have a, a logical discussion with these people, and uh, I worry about, you know, our country, it's, it's just, in, in the last, I, I never would have imagined, I'm 43, and I never would have imagined in my lifetime that we could have fallen so far so fast. Just everything across the board. I mean, we're a laughing stock in the international community. We got a socialist, communist, uh, bisexual uh, person who is, is intent on bringing this down. And he just wants to spread our country, and people are, are, are oblivious. To what's going on, and it, 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 it really makes me sad, and tonight I, I felt a little glimmer of hope when I heard a lot of the different stories going on from people, and uh, how everybody's pulling together for, for what's going on, it's just, it just, it, it gives me hope. Awesome, man, uh, I, I'm really glad that it does that, you know, at least for a few people, you know, like I said, I, I, if it wakes more people up, if it gets more people on the same page, same page if it's got a therapeutic effect, um, then we're doing something right. You know, if it calls the situation 
then I, I think that's a good thing, man. And uh, I appreciate you chiming in. Obviously, you're a patriot and you got a good heart, and you're uh, you know you're, you're following along. That, that means a lot. How long yeah, you been I, on this call? I gosh, uh, since about ten o'clock this evening. Nice. So you've been on pretty much the whole time. I moonlight as a, uh, a personal uh, driver, and uh, I, I was able to get into the, the conference. And then uh, I was picking up people, and I was telling them, I said, "Hey, do you know what's going on over in, in Nevada?" And they're like, "No, I had no idea." So I I filled them in, and then I l- let them listen to the broadcast, and they're like, "Oh my God!" I, I told them, I said, "What you guys have to understand, this is history in the making." I mean, imagine if we had this kind of organized coordination, uh, you know, in, in the American Revolution. I, I, that's, that's all I kept thinking about is like, okay, we're, we're, this is something totally, you know, they talk about whenever something breaks in the Middle East, everybody's using Twitter and, and, and however they, they're getting the stories out, the Arab Spring, whatever. But this, this is something I was really amazed, and I'm glad that, you know, it has been shut down. But uh, it's a way of communicating and getting people across. Because when, when I first started listening, I, I couldn't even understand it. There were so many people talking all at once, and it was really hard to follow. Because uh, somebody was talking about uh, somebody got shot or there were shots fired. So I was trying to make sense of all this. But uh, I like that you got everybody under control, and, and uh, you're, you're a very good moderator. So I want to commend you on that. But, yeah, I'm concerned about this country. And, and you know, I was talking to my friend, and, and she and I both want to come down there. You know, we're in California. Um, I don't know if that's going to be possible uh, with my. Uh, you just dropped out. Are you still, still there? Hello? All right. Your phone just went dead on me, buddy. I'm going to keep you on for a couple, uh, you just dropped. All right. Uh, I got, I didn't, that wasn't me, man. My hands were nowhere near them up, but uh, I have to let somebody else in. Uh, if you want to chime back in, there's only a couple people in the queue, so sorry that you got dropped, dude. I don't know if that was your, uh, your end or what, but uh, next person in the queue, 4201. Yes, hello. My name's Larry. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. First, a quick story. Well, I've been unemployed and no income for the last two years, but I've been listening to Glenn Beck, so I've been storing food. So I called my boys last night. I have two boys, 20, uh, 19 and uh, 23, and I warned them. They were both getting ready to go out, as young guys do. And I told them what was going on, and I, I texted them a few things. And I said, and as broke as I've been, I've I've still mustered up enough food that um, the, the three of us could live for a while and water. And I told him, I, I've always told him this. I said, if things get bad, get to Dad's house. And uh, I told him, I said, this this could be something that that you know. I said, I wish I could go. And my dad, and my son, my oldest said, we'll get in the car and we'll go. But I've got seventy five dollars to my name. I, I have no income right now, so uh, and haven't for two years, um, or I'd go. Um, and I'm in Ohio. But my question, uh, that was my testimony, I guess. My question hey, uh, is... Hang on, hang, on one, hang on one second, bro. I'm gonna, I, I hate to interrupt people, but uh, if you're on Facebook or any of the families on Facebook, there's a, a Patriot Underground page that is currently uh, letting people utilize that page right now is setting up some sort of uh, uh, Underground Railroad. I, I went out, you know, saying it like that, but, you know, they're basically offering rides. It's a ride share. Um, if you want to chime in and, and, and put a call out that you could use a ride, if, if one of the guys wanted to maybe... Uh, or, or two of the guys wanted to just go, and you could still keep someone to, you know, cover the Ford at home. Um, if that helps you out at all, I hope it does. Carry on. Yeah, okay. Um, my question is, is for the people that can't go, and I think this could be strategic depending on how bad the uh, situation escalates. Um, what can we do here? Should we start, I mean, as tea parties, I think we should start having peaceful demonstrations. I said something on Facebook last night. The, uh, what, uh, you know, we had Occupy Wall Street, and they, and they acted like idiots. As patriots, let's get together at our state capitals. At, well, I'm in Columbus, Ohio, so we have the state capital and our, uh, you know, the Columbus is capital. I think we should start getting together and rally and show support. Plus, if they know we're gathering in numbers, it'll they'll have to keep an eye on us so they won't put uh, boots on the ground. You know, they'll have to keep an eye on the whole country. 
Um, question. What can we do? Is, is, is somebody, I know that's probably very early, but I think we need to start mobilizing and getting rallies together across the country in support of the Bundys. Um, I, I'd actually like to go ahead and uh, put in an honorable mention to the uh, the impeach Obama overpass people. Um, they chimed in earlier. Both the national administrators were on throughout the portions of these calls and uh, definitely said, you know, it's, I think it's time to start uh, – you know, if you can't chime in and you can't make it there, well, the next best thing is maybe you could show a little support and help spread the word. You know, if if people are, uh, you know, spray painting on some, you know, old blue sheets or whatever and, you know, can put, uh, you know, what, whatever they feel that they need to put down within reason, I guess. You know, we support the ranchers and yada, yay. You know, uh, shoot, put up this conference call. <laughs> you know, if we can get people out there that can't be boots on the ground and aren't heading there and that are... Uh, just chiming in and want to do something. Um, you know, we're trying to set up a crowdfunding uh, in, in the near future to be able to send at least the uh, guys that are taking charge and uh, are in administrative type positions, their boots on the ground. Um, the best thing is that group did, I mean, okay, maybe it's not the next best thing, but, you know, one of the alternatives, if you can get there, if you want to show support, we need some people at the overpasses, you know, waking people. Uh, the situation down there, but people are trying to do the right thing. Thank you, and God bless you. Uh, God bless you, too, man. I appreciate it. Uh, i got two more people in the queue. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to chime in, sir, while I got you unmuted? Uh, no, no, sir. Just God bless you guys, and I'll be praying, and um, I support 100%. Uh, well, we really appreciate you, man, and uh, you know, keep putting uh, keep putting the word out that we're we're trying to do this. More people up. Uh, I had tears in my eyes when I was telling the story. I've I've done the best I can to raise my boys, and they uh, they know, <laughs> they know. That's awesome, man. Uh, we'll keep being a patriot, man. And uh, go ahead. The, the younger generation is almost scary. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with this, but I feel something big could happen, you know. And when they talk about war, you know, they say we're war weary. What happened? What generation? What did the generation of, of the World War II do? They chipped in. Uh, we, we gave. I mean, you hate to say it, but we lost, you know, what five thousand lives in, in in the two wars. But they used to lose that in a battle, and you you don't want to lose a single soul. But you know what? Sometimes you have to fight. Sometimes you have to fight because there's bad people out there, and they and and if somebody don't think that we can fall, that's the biggest misnomer. You know, the biggest thing that I'm worried about. I'm not worried about even though our commander in chief is 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 scary about the the foreign stuff. It's 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 we could Rome fell from within. And, and we're more in danger of collapse. And, and you know, I, I believe he's been trying, and we all know this. He's been trying to collapse the system to bring in full full fledged socialism. And there is no way I can live. I, there, I'm to the point, and I, I remember 20 years ago people saying, "Oh, you know, this this or that is going to happen." I, I'm kind of trying to watch what I say, but you know, I, I'm to the point I can't live with these people anymore. When, when you say, and I know this is a funny, this is just one little thing, but I've seen it in three states when they're starting to say that a transgender student can walk into any bathroom that they want to. And, and, and you know what? I'm glad my kids aren't in school. If my kids, I put them in Christian schools for a while, but if, if I cannot live with that, I, 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 who says that a little boy that thinks he's a girl, first of all, somebody put that in their head. Uh, hey, 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 bro, uh, I need to go ahead and interrupt you. I've got a couple other people that were uh, waiting very ahead, patiently. I just can't live with them anymore. I, I, you, we just can't. Yeah. No, I, I, I hope this has been therapeutic for you, man. You sound like, uh, you know, great patriotic people, and I'm, I'm glad that you're proud of your family and you're, you're part of what we're trying to do here, man. I, I want you to stay in tune and, uh, you know, keep getting other people in here. Let them know, you know, put it on speakerphone. Do you, do you realize this is happening right now? You know, a lot of people don't. So use what tools you've got available, you know. I've only been on the call about 10 minutes, so I reposted it as soon as I saw it and I got on. I appreciate you, man. I'm going to move on to the next guy. I really appreciate you, and uh, thanks for keeping your kids awake, all right? Yep. Uh, why don't we call it 0245. What can we do for you today? Yeah, that'd be it. I need to address a few things. I don't know if I have found any validation to it, but I've heard reports as far as children being brought to the perimeters of this function. Um, I don't know if that is true. If it is, then... You know, you're looking at a situation that's balanced on the hair trigger. 
You are correct. Now, well, and we're highly, know, not, highly not you know, recommending it. Yeah, it's not a spectator sport. You know, it's right now, depending on how we carry this out, significantly impacts how it can unfold. I agree. Uh, you, know, you know, simply right now we want peaceful protesters, that, and uh, right. if you're coming representing anything but, uh, transform yourself into a peaceful protester for peace sake. Exactly, but so the, also the other agenda too is, is it is a huge. Even though you have the media blackouts from the major networks, it's still getting out to the local news network. You know, as far as the newspapers, it's being covered by a couple that I've seen. With that in mind. That's been- it is a huge PR battle. You don't want to feed ammunition to the media networks by it leaking out, which is obvious. We see it going on everywhere. You don't want to have a kid showing up or a kid popping up in an image, which, as we know, images speak louder than what you can say in words. You don't want to have a kid pop up in an image and that pop up out to the main media with the way that they tend to twist things. That will completely discredit Every effort and motion that you're that we are pulling together for this. You know, I I, I agree with you to a lot of this. Um, I have to touch, and uh, it's actually, um, I went rocks. To what they're at right now. So, I, I, while I children really shouldn't be. People that are even local that are just there that kind of got stuck in this still. Um, and that's already left in the media. Our is and it's quite unfortunate. So we're trying to get alternative media there, uh, as well as live reports. What do you think? So, podcast. Right. Well, I can hardly understand what you're saying. It sounds Doug, it's almost as if you've got something intervening with your circuitry, but. Um, if you can hear what I what I'm saying, I'll make it short and sweet because I got a lot of other things I'm working on. Um, you need to have with the with the vast numbers of people that are there. You need to have sections broken up. You need to have points the point leads to organize and orchestrate everything and control the chaos because that's what they're feeding off of. It's a like I said, it's a pivotal moment, pivotal moment. If you don't control this you literally can invoke, as we've seen in other states that have tested martial law in the beta form, you don't want this to explode and backfire. We've got other world events going on right now that can simply flip the table over and go against us. So you have to keep the world events currently right now going on in mind while this event is being taken place. You're completely blocked from coming in. You know, the uh, great things about throwaway phones is that uh, when people try to hack into your line, you have an alternative source to get back on a conference call. So I've burned through two phones so far during the course of this action. Um, this is number three. Uh, sorry about uh, me leaving you hanging there, bro. Uh, you were in the queue and uh, you got cut loose because uh, I got cut loose. Um, you just disconnected yourself from the chat, which is fine. If anybody else wants to come on in right now, you can press star six, and you will be the next caller in the queue. If you press star six right now, I can go ahead and get you in on this call, and you can speak freely. 
um, or forever hold your peace. I don't have anybody chiming in right now. It'd be sure nice to see. We still got uh, 38 people on the call, and somebody just chimed in. Uh, another person just chimed in, so uh, hang tight. Uh, 7519, you're next in line, uh, 0541. Go ahead. Uh, yes, my name is Leisha Smith. I'm calling you from Blacksburg, Virginia. Uh, wow. I had uh, <clears throat> a post on Facebook this morning from Oath Keepers where they are collecting money for food and water for the effort. Is that legitimate? I uh, can't confirm or deny. If you want to uh, you know, go kind of by the mantra that's following this call for the last couple of days, and uh, you'll have to forgive me and excuse my friends. This is a term uh, used amongst a lot of vet- veterans where I work. Usually when I ask a question like that, they tell me to GTS, and I know to uh, get on my computer and Google that shit. Um, I, w- I would highly recommend you know, getting a hold of the Oath Keepers group, finding anybody that can confirm that, and then uh, if you want to go ahead and get back to, to uh, this call and uh, announce that, uh, you're more than welcome to. Well, it says, Action Alert Boots on the Ground Needs Donation for Food and Water at Bundy Ranch Standoff. And, uh, uh, yeah. Most likely, it's just going to come down to, you know, we can get a lot of people to support that, who's going to take the responsibility for the transaction and getting it to the right place. If, uh, as of right now, we're not positive, but we think uh, Ground Zero has been kind of closed off from all the main routes. Um, so if that can be, you know, delivered via PayPal to the rancher, that might be fine and dandy, but I don't know if he's even able to get back and forth or to have anybody run for supplies at this point. So uh, I would I would say... Although that sounds like a, a possible alternative, if this keeps uh, if this keeps on for a couple of days, and we get in contact with some of the uh, chain of command there, we, we'd be happy to do that. But as of right now, anybody who's coming in as a uh, peaceful protester, uh, we highly recommend bringing in extra supplies and enough to hold their own for a week. So you don't have a fund set up. There's not an official fund. Uh, no, but you know, not to say that we wouldn't like to obviously see that happen. I, I'm just. Uh, you know, thinking ahead and, and trying to determine how we would get that to the right people um, when we should probably consider just turning that into supplies and getting the supplies there, um, you know, for people that are heading there. So, uh, you know, if, if you think, you you know, you've got the capabilities and are responsible enough to maybe head up an operation like that, um, or if Oath Keepers are already on it, um, feel free to, you know, take part of it, anybody else. If you want, if ma'am, if you want to call back and chime in once you can confirm that something like that's been established, I'll, I'll, I'll let you ahead of a couple other people if you'd like to reannounce that at any point. Well, I, I sent them five hundred dollars, and then after I hit click uh, send, I thought, geez, I probably should have confirmed that that was legitimate before I did it. But you know, with oath, oath keepers, I because they were using the right terminology with the boots on the ground, so I thought it was teamed up with it, and then I thought, well. I hope I did that correctly. So I will do some checking on that and get back. I do have a friend in leadership and Oath Keepers, and I'll check on that. And if I find out anything, I'll let you know. Thank uh, you. No problem. No problem, ma'am. Since I've uh, kind of taken a position of responsibility, at least for this phone call, um, I'm sure I can acquire you know some more resources and uh, the appropriate person to maybe you know handle the uh, financial aspect of that and get that uh, to some people that I'm in communication with on the comm line and uh, boots on the ground squad. Uh, you know, maybe get this in their hands. Uh, there's a couple people that I do know personally uh, that are on scene that are trying to sleep right now. Um, a couple more hours, they'll be meeting at the flagpole. So uh, I, I know, you know, there's some security units there that have chimed in. There's uh, definitely, uh, you know, some comms guys that are trying to uh, get get directly in touch with more of the people that are there. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure of the exact current situation, so I can't really, uh, you know, I can't get, get really... Uh, down to other than I know some of the people there, and hopefully they'd be willing to accept maybe a, a future PayPal transaction, which I could probably coordinate. So if you can report back, uh, you know, once you've got anything that's maybe already been set up and you're able to do a little background on them, uh, that'd be great. Other than that, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put put that as priority um, to maybe set up something this and, and, and help handle it personally. Uh, well, just real quickly, I just jumped on the call about 10 minutes ago um, through News Ninja. They were posting your number and, and saw his post. Um, is this an ongoing call that will be going on all day to take information? You know, I, <laughs> this uh, this started as a call, and just to give you some background on what's going on, then, um, 
you know, this started off, I, I, uh, I represent the uh, HR recruiting division, the uh, Illinois Sons of Liberty. It is a Second Amendment group, a uh, highly constitutional group that's open to anyone, um, you know, as long as they're here uh, legally and, uh, you know, they're not uh, a, a criminal, uh, you know, so to speak, in, in various aspects. But uh, it just started off as a simple conference call uh, between a couple of close friends that, you know, are concerned. And uh, we decided to open up the call to uh, other uh, similar Second Amendment type groups across the nation. And then uh, that just blew up into uh, uh, you know a storm. We've got major uh, major players in the game of freedom, you know, that have chimed in, and uh, administrators of many different groups and leaders of all kinds of everything: the bikers, EMTs, active duties, uh, re you know, retired vets, uh, you know, just so many aspects. Right now, you know, it's really awesome to see, and yet somewhat hard to comprehend. But uh, you know, awe-inspiring and uh, you know, very uh, patriotic. You know, what's going on right here? So. Um, it's just turned into that, you know, it's spread like wildfire. And uh, it, as far as, you know, answering your direct question directly, uh, I intended on going to sleep over four hours ago. So, but uh, obviously we've got, you know, 50 some odd people on the call, so I'm just going to stay on until uh, nobody's got anything to say and then uh, try to get a couple naps in and uh, take care of some things tomorrow. I've got a, a person I'd like to appoint second in command that I'll be meeting up with in a few, uh, well, 10 hours or so. And, well, uh, I'm you know, heading down to a, a large meeting of uh, a bunch of potential patriots and people who might donate um, here just in, in an hour, and I need to get off the call. But I was going to try to pass along some information um, to, you know, tell them that I I found this call and I, you know, I wanted to see if it was going to be ongoing, so they could jump in later on today if they wanted to, or if if there was any information to pass along uh, what the best uh, Facebook page to follow it or um, you know, how do you get in the loop of, of following what's going on? Is this right. the best so, source? As far as I can tell from my uh, perspective, ma'am, yes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start another uh, comm line, and if you're willing to take a little responsibility, I'm going to uh, add another row of people here uh, to people that are willing to help out with any sort of crowdfunding. Um, you might have, uh, I, I hang on to your number and... Uh, would you be willing to take a uh, leadership position in that aspect of this conference call? Well, I'd, I'd, I'll, I'll try. I've got to go to this Ninth District Convention today, and I'll be down there, and th there'll be a large group of people down there, and some of them might be interested in this. And I'll be, uh, you'll be able to get me, and then you won't be able to get me. I don't know how the Internet service down there will be or anything, but I'll take as much information as I can, and then okay. uh, I'm going to contact my guy in Oath Keepers and... Uh, I'll see what I can do. I don't want to make any promises because I'm going to kind of be, I don't know how my reception is going to be today, but, you know, I'd love to help any way I could. So, yeah, hang on to my number for sure. And, right, and we'll, right. we'll, uh, Let's put it like this. In about 13 hours is when we plan on reoccurring uh, this call uh, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, if you could let some of these people know this number, it will be the same call-in information. Um, you can also find me directly uh, if you type in Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, space, free the people, all one word. I pop up real fast on Facebook. Uh, I've exceeded my friend limit. Um, but if you want to follow me for a while, I'm going to be uh, removing some people I have not been in touch with for a while and uh, adding uh, approximately 140 patriots that uh, have tried adding me or have followed me <laughs> over the, cat, the course of the last two days. But uh, I've got your number. I'm gonna, I, I have you under a certain... Uh, you know, uh, uh, comms, comms line now under crowdfunding. So uh, once that's accomplished, um, you're going to be one of my go-to people on that. So you can help spread that information to the appropriate people. Fair? Well, uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, good luck All with right. everything. And I'll be checking in. Like, if, if I can get on, I'll definitely be back by 8 p.m. Now, it will be the same phone number and the same code? That is correct. Okay. All right. Well, I'll give that out also. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for everything you're doing. We really, you know, we're monitoring and we really appreciate what you're doing. Um, I appreciate you right back. God, I, I, God bless. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next caller then. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for keying in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the line. I got two people on hold and uh, seven five one nine. You're up. Hi. We're from North Florida. Just wanted to let you know that our family is praying for the Bundys. We support them 100%. Believe that the overreach of the federal government is out of control and that they need to be reined in. This is the first start. Um, I have read An American Crisis by 
Thomas Paine, and I believe that it is the time for all good men to, uh, to take a stand and not be a sunshine patriot. Thank you for what you're doing. We appreciate everything. If you can find a legitimate source to um, donate money to, to send towards the ranchers for food, water, whatever it is, that they need. If you could please post that, we'll be happy to donate. And again, thank you for everything that you're doing. And pray for the Bundys and the Patriots that are out there supporting them. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, I appreciate your kind words, man. You keep spreading the word out there and let them know we're here trying to do the right thing and uh, trying to help uh, quell a, a, a possibly volatile situation the best we can you know, with what little we have at this moment. We will, and thank you again. We're definitely praying for you, definitely. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and push to the next caller, uh, 2486. You're on. Hey, um, good morning. This is uh, Wayne Dupree of News Ninja 2012.com, WayneDupree.com. Um, actually, I woke up to uh, your information that was... Uh, being put on Twitter, and I've been tweeting it out for the last uh, hour and a half with um, your phone number. So that's probably where um, some extra numbers that you were getting getting calling in. So um, I have uh, I have a question from someone that is driving up or heading there. They wanted to know uh, any places to stay when they got there. Uh, they haven't heard of. Uh, anywhere around or uh, any lodging or anything. Is is there any place that is um, close to um, lodging for them if, by the time that they get there? Uh, we did have a couple people that chimed in. Uh, I only started taking uh, better notes uh, three segments of this call ago. Um, you're going to have to do some backtracking. Um, I'm going to give a playback number right now for this call. And then when you're playing back the last segment, we also left the previous code for the previous call in there. So you can trace this back to literally, I believe it's four or five different segments of this entire conversation. But it's 559-726-1392. Uh, and the last key code is uh, pound, 9676-POUND. And that will take you to the last segment. If you listen to that segment, it will give you the code for the prior segment and so forth. But, uh, you know, there's a lot that's been going on, man. And uh, we basically had one person that chimed in said that they spoke with somebody um, that was at the tribal office for the nearest local uh, Native American reservation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give that number out right now for everyone. To, to, I don't want anybody to harass these guys. We need to treat them with the utmost respect because they've actually, from what I've been told, is offered, um, you know, people a safe zone for any uh, uh, refugees or uh, people headed there that might need a, a stopping point or a rally point. But the number was uh, 702, sorry, 702 um, 2790 If you Google that and, and look up reservation, you should get a tribal office and uh, do some more research from there. But if anybody's headed there, uh, I would love for them to call back and kind of let us know what's going on at that uh, at that section. As of right now, it's been kind of quiet um, over the course of the evening, but uh, we were told that that was a safe zone and it's about 10 miles away from ground zero, if that helps at all. That's pretty much all I got right now. Does that, uh, does that help you, uh, 2486? Yeah, um, and so... Um Another question would be with with the situation that is there right now, and I hear um, I hear some of the people that are coming on to the phone this morning saying that they're on their way. Um, again, I, I'm just waking up two hours um, ago on the East Coast, so a lot of your information. And I I um, thank you for what you're doing because you've been on here for a while. You've been going and going with everything um, that's going over there right now. But what is the perceived outlook of um, how long that this might last? Because from a, from from reports, and probably you can help me out, from reports, uh, they are taking uh, 
they're taking his livestock already. And is that true or not, that they're taking his livestock um, anyway? So I, I can only give you, uh, based on what people have told me, and, and you can only take that with a grain of salt right now, man. Okay. Um, as far as confirmed, I'm looking for pictures and video, but uh, somebody did explain that they were in touch with somebody that did do an aerial, uh, aerial pass by uh, earlier today, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this earlier, I'm sorry, we're into the next morning already. Earlier yesterday right. morning, um, that did state that they did an aerial flyby, and based on what they saw out of apparently what should normally be around 500 cattle, there was only around. Uh, less than 200, closer to 150 cattle left on the uh, on the actual range itself, and uh, apparently a portion of the ones that had been taken were already auctioned off um, on the open market. So I, I'm not sure how that works down there, but uh, you know, I'm sure it's an entirely frustrating situation. And we've also, uh, you know, had a lot of conjecture about what's going on, you know, re regarding that as far as the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, is right now the uh, opposing uh, a fraudulent uh, authority right now. They've got uh, in the vicinity of 150 maybe people here is what we heard earlier um, by a couple sources. In the vicinity, we don't know exactly uh, how they're spread out or how they're located, but uh, you, you can pretty much safely uh, ascertain that, you know, the major routes, if you can Google Maps from that area, are, are probably, uh, you know, kind of on lockdown right now. I, I could only assume like a soft undeclared martial law um, where they can, you know, still search vehicles and things of that nature. So we're just recommending that people are heading there, come in as peaceful protesters that happen to have brought, you know, legal munitions with them stored safely and appropriately by the, you know, by the laws from A to B to that location. Um, and, you know, that they've broken down, you know, no, uh, no bullets in the chambers, things of that nature. And, uh, you know, kind of hope for the best. If, you know, anybody's reporting, uh, you know, being harassed, pulled over, things of that nature, you know, keep the cameras uh, going also according to those laws in that area. But, you know, we need other people giving us feedback and uh, we can only go by, you know, based on what we've been told, man. And uh, even that, you know, still leaves some doubts in the American people's minds, as you can tell. Well, i tell you what, um, I heard I heard that your... Um, I've been to your Facebook page already, so I already know that you are tapped out. But um, I sent you a, pro um, a private message. Um, just if um, you just keep me updated, I can get the information out any way that I can um, via uh, the website or through the social media side. So um, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep your head up and stay prayerful and careful, man. <laughs> I appreciate the good comments, man. Uh, you're welcome to stay on the line for a little minute. We don't have anybody else in the queue, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say if anybody else wants to chime in, we still got 45 some odd people uh, in on this call. I know a good portion of them, I can tell, have been here for quite some time and are rebroadcasting everything. Um, so thank you for staying on, even though your your uh, lines are probably not even being monitored on their end right now. Hopefully you hear this later. Um, if anybody else wants to chime in, you're welcome to press uh, star and then the number six and uh, we'll get you next in line. Uh, Mr. Dupree, where were you located again, sir? I am in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, we, have, uh, we have a radio show. We also have um, a webcast. And um, this morning, I'm, I'm telling you, this morning I woke up, and the first thing I look at my twi Twitter feed, um, I'm looking at y'all having a conference call which I've been looking for for the last for the last couple of days, and there it is on my Twitter feed. So I I've been pushing it out. Um, I have close to about forty nine thousand um, followers for that. So they've so they've just been retweeting the number for the last hour or so, hour and a half, and um, I'll put it on Facebook. One of my um, Ninja members uh, just called you just a few minutes ago. Uh, she um, she is a great resource, and she just um, donated some money to the Oath Keepers. And I will say this: um, the Oath Keepers are uh, the website. I've been to the website. That's that is their official website. Um, so I don't know how they're going to um, get the money out there, but I do know that they are respectable enough to move move whatever 
resources they have and uh, in mobilizing to get the, um, to get the job done. I do know that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking some notes. It was was it Media Ninja? What, what was it? Was it called? Oh, um, News Ninja Twenty Twelve dot com or Wayne Dupree Show dot com. Both we've been um, putting up. Um, I put up a video a couple of days ago of um, the incident, and uh, it. I mean it kind of spread like wildfire for it. So I've been covering it as much as I can, but when I saw that this conference call was going on this morning, I was like, I really got to get that information out there so that everybody can chime in and call in and if they have any questions or if they wanted to support you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Wayne, let me ask you this, brother. What are you doing in about 13 hours, man? You know what? I can be on here if you need me to. I don't really have a lot of uh, feedback from your region, so um, it sounds like you've got a little strength and a lot of reach. Um, uh, I, I'd be welcome to uh, add you to uh, comms tap uh, through the media outlets that we're using right now. Um, there's a couple people that would be in charge of that that would be contacting you in the near future once I get everything straightened out later. Do but uh, if you're willing to volunteer, man, i just put you down as comms 11. Does that work for you? You got it. All right. Uh, you're going to be part of the call tree, but you're, you're now uh, pretty much my Northeast guy, okay? So uh, I'd really appreciate it. if you've got any feedback from any local sources that are reporting any sort of activity that you can confirm. Um, highly recommend uh, video and or any sort of other footage. Since you've got um, a lot of reach, I'm also going to say this again, and I want you to make sure you take note of uh, a Twitter feed that we've been trying to get everybody to use if they can post up pictures or actual video, uh, live feeds, anything like that. Okay. Uh, outside, outside of this one uh, is uh, pound sign and then oath before orders. And that is oath before, before spelled out orders. Correct. Okay. So we're having a lot of people, uh, they're tagging. I, I, I have not been able to check that during this call, but I've been told uh, due to a couple people that are kind of helping them uh, with the secretarial duties uh, via my, well, one of the other burnout phones that I put down, but uh, they, they've basically been contacting me and uh, kind of keeping me posted on other things, and uh, I definitely wanted to make sure that, that that's getting out. They're retagging me in those posts that are going up uh, on Facebook, so that that's seemed to help, you know, on my end a lot, alleviating me of that and helping me delegate, you know, some things, and uh we definitely need a, a, a region, you know, what is that, FEMA Region 1? You're FEMA Region 1, aren't you? Yeah, yep. So, uh, um, is that... I just heard that you, you are not my representative for that right now, man. So if you can find actually a, a second and third in command for that region, um, okay. that would help us out a lot, too. Okay. Um, and you know what? I have I have a good solid one because they are the ones that pulled me in uh, a couple of nights ago around midnight. They had got some information about the militias, um, uh, about some militias mobilizing, and actually they were the ones that had talked about a conference call um, starting. Uh, they alerted me to it, so um, I put out a tweet, and then that went crazy, and then um, I uploaded it. Well, I, I put it on my website, and um, people people went to that and that was like two or maybe it was about three nights three two or three days ago. Nights ago. Hey, so um yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, Wayne. If you need to chime out or chime in, whatever the case is. Um I've got a couple people that just came in in the queue. Got and it. I'm gonna go ahead and let them speak. What I'm gonna do is not mute you, but if 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 I pull in two more people it's going to drop you. So I'm gonna leave you in as long as I can. Okay. Um, but I would ask temporarily if you wanted to just mute your own phone out or, um, you know, try to remain silent temporarily. If you don't want to chime in, go right ahead. But I'm going to let in a couple more people uh, in this call real quick. Uh, I'm staying on. You got I'm it, staying brother. on with you. Uh, I got you. Let, let last four digits, 4201. 4201, you're now on the call as well. And uh, you just got unmuted, so let me unmute you too, bro. 
All right, sorry about that. Area code four, uh, 614 ending in 4201. You're up. I'm sorry. Oh, I had you on my own mute. Can you hear me now? Yeah, ABC, we got you. Bro. You're right. ABC just did a, uh, on Good Morning America, just did a piece on it. So blackout might be over. That's all I wanted uh, to say. I talked to you. You know, 4201, if you could actually do me a favor, back away from the phone a little bit. You're redlining on the uh, graph here. Are you coming in okay. mighty strong, man? I, I want to hear what you got to say. Are you on speakerphone? If you could kill that, that would probably help out. I'm sorry. Yeah, ABC just did, uh, on Good Morning America, just did a uh, piece on it. So the blackout might be over. Uh, we shall see it, man. Um, I, I, we definitely want to see more attention. We've told other people to go ahead and contact any media that they've got, whether it's underground or... Uh, you know, not mainstream or yes, mainstream. And uh, you know, yeah. I, I personally feel that, you know, the more people like that are on board, cameras everywhere, um, a lot of people are going to be less to be uh, reacted violently and, uh, you know, realizing that they're on camera. Um, so hopefully a of lot course. of people that are involved on everything. Yeah, level. it wasn't a positive piece, of course, but at least it's, you know, people are knowing that it's happening. And I'm on here because of Wayne. Uh, you're great, Wayne. I, I, I follow you. So, anyways, let you guys go. Thanks. Thank you, Neil. No, I, I appreciate you chiming in, man. Um, you know, I, I'm glad you're looking out. And, Wayne, uh, I, you know, I can contest that, uh, you know, you sound like an educated guy. Is there anything else you wanted to uh, chime in before I let this next caller pop in? Well, no, no we're I good. Mean, I, just, I just want um, anybody that is listening that is um, um, that cares to just keep on putting out this number or if this number has to leave, um, and it comes back up a little bit later, be sure to get the number out, get the information out, and uh, ask questions. Ask, ask whatever questions that you have, and I'm sure that uh, Brian will be able to, to, um, to the best of his knowledge, answer. That's all I'm trying to, to do, man. Uh, we have some stuff that's you know, not exactly confirmed intel, um, you know, a lot of conjecture and stuff, and we're just trying to you know, in about uh, 13 hours from now, we'll have a lot more answers, and uh, I'm hoping to get people like Chief Kessler on board, uh, Richard Mack, even uh, Kokesh hit me up earlier, I'm seeing now. So I want to see uh, how many other people we can get that are, you know, really involved in this, uh, you know, freedom and an, an American prospering uh, movement, and uh, hopefully we got more boots on the ground, man. I'm going to go ahead and let in another wireless hey, caller on the line. Oh, shoot, man. Uh, I just shot you down right before you started talking. Hang on. You there? Go I'm ahead. sorry. Hey. I was just going to say, th they talked about it on the Glenn Beck show, uh, but he wasn't on Friday. But they're trying to weigh, was the guy justified or not? But I'm sure Glenn Beck will get on board, and then you'll have tons of millions. He'll be checking it out over the weekend. Again, Wayne, I really appreciate what you do, brother. Bye-bye. Thank you, dude. And I appreciate you too, man. Uh, i got to admit, not, not a ginormous fan of Glenn Beck himself. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of co and pro tell going on in that realm, and uh, I believe the guy's kind of a fake on a lot of things. Uh, I, you know, some, from what I perceive, maybe he's woken up a little bit recently, but, you know, keep in mind he's paid mainstream media, um, whether we like it or not. So let's not take him any, any uh, more realistic than I would take, uh, you know, Alex Jones. Forgive me for saying that right now for you guys that are diehard fans, but uh, – I'm really kind of watching, you know, what media outlets, even on the underground level, are as truthful as they say they are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let the next person chime in. Uh, 4201, did you have anything else? For, hang on a second. 4201, did you have anything else? 4201, last chance. No, we're good. All Take right. care. All right, brother, I'm going to mute you out. Uh, wireless caller 7643, you're online. Hey, what's up, Brian? Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to Wayne Dupree. Been following you for a long time, man. I know you're a follower of mine on Twitter as well. Also, I wanted to hit on, uh, you know, kind of the mainstream media, the the Glenn Becks, the Alex Jones. You know, I, I listen to Alex a little bit. I've kind of uh, done a little research on Glenn Beck, and I understand that he's even admitted to having a finger pressed down on him. And if he wants to keep his business going, there's only so much, you know, he has to hide back some of the stuff. I've heard the flakiness. I know Alex and him fight a lot. But, uh, you know, when you get that big, you know, if you want to keep your business going, you know, and that's the thing about the mainstream media. You can't trust the damn thing they say. Fox News, fair and balanced, right? 
wrong that Rupert Murdoch owns Fox News, you know, and they're only going to put out. Uh, to me, Fox News claims fair and balanced. To me, that's an easier way to brainwash the people because they'll get you to suck in. You know, I'm never going to turn on CNN, CNN or CNN, whatever, CNNBC. Fox News, though, if you're a conservative, oh, that's a conservative site. No, wrong. They get you in just enough to suck you in, and then they can still brainwash you, you know? And that's why I like guys like Wayne Dupree, like, you know, Adam Kokesh, all those guys, you know, that, that shoot you straight. They're fellow patriots, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, I called in. I wanted to give a shout-out to, uh, to Wayne Dupree, and uh, I'll let some other talkers, some other callers talk now. Uh, I'm going to keep you going, man. Uh, you know, Wayne's still in here if you want to. Okay. Say hi to him directly. Uh, I don't know if you know him personally, but Wayne, you got a big fan on the line. I man. don't. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. But appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I, um, and I know it's early, but you know your patriotism and showing support for even jumping on and having something to say um, in this time. And uh, I cannot stress the the amount of admiration for Brian in what he's doing right now and whatever we can do to support Brian we will um, absolutely no no matter how long it takes we will support him because the information is key and if um, if he can get it out there we can we can sure help him absolutely uh, wow, man, I appreciate the feedback there coming from guys, you know, that uh, have a lot of clout out in the, uh, you know, world of freedom right now in the uh, day and age that we really need it the most, man. I, I really appreciate that, the, you know, kind words coming from, uh, you know, good people that have been, uh, you know, fighting a good fight, you know, along beside me. We may not have crossed paths before, but I, I assure you in, uh, you know, ideals and, uh, you know, as well as morality, you know, in this day and age, maybe it just needed uh, this for all these good people to come together at this point in time, man, so... I, hey, Brian, I got a question for you. Go ahead, bro. I, I'm just being mean. What, what can I answer? Yeah, I mentioned Peterson to you earlier. Do you, he's, he's boots on the ground there. You know? Do you know him? Have you seen him? Uh, uh, Santilli. Uh, Santilli, actually, yeah, was supposed to be headed there as well. Um, we're hoping to contact yeah, him at been some shooting. point tomorrow. Um, yeah, he should, he's been shooting live feeds. He was right there when the when they threw that lady to the ground, tased the the son of uh, Clive, and yeah, yeah, Bundy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I apologize. I I just said tomorrow, and I I meant this. I, I'm my brain is is starting to shut off. Right. Uh, in about I've been here with hours. you the whole damn time. <laughs> in about thirteen hours, we should be in contact with those people. I, I'm really hoping for it, and. Uh, you know, a lot of guys are crashing right now and sleeping when probably most of us should be as well and getting recharged for, uh, you know, an, an, another fine day tomorrow. But, uh, you know, I'm going to stick on as long as there's as many people as there are on this phone call. We went from, uh, we peaked out at 120 yesterday, uh, and we peaked out at uh, about 400 today. And right now we're only up at uh, 36, but that's, you know, pretty nice considering a lot of, uh, you know, radio shows that I've chimed in, in on in the past. This isn't even a radio show, man. It's just a conference call, so it's really conveniently cool. You know how everything works Absolutely. out, and everybody's in, and uh, we're seeing all kinds mm -hmm. of cool respect here. You know, uh, I, I was kind of maybe it's just my sleep talking right now, but I don't know if you ever seen the movie The Warriors. Um, it was about you know gangs from the '70s, which obviously this is not what this is about. But I'm kind of feeling like you know we've got the uh, the, the East Coast boppers over here with the West Coast uh, bikers, and uh, you know we've got uh, the uh, EMTs over here, and we've got the active duty Air Force over here. But everybody's coming together, you know, for the same cause. It's kind of cool to see, um, you know, people all trying to work together and chime in. And um, it's been therapeutic for me, man, because if you would ask me 48 hours ago, I was losing my mind. Um, I'll be honest, I, uh, I walked out of my workplace uh, on Friday not to quit or anything like that. But, uh, you know, with all the stress going on with all this and being put in, a, you know, a, a position of... Um, you know, basically that I've, I've undertaken. I, I'm glad I'm doing a decent job at it, but, uh, you know, it's been stressful, man, and, uh, you know, it's kind of nice to be part of all of this, and, uh, you know, it's been therapeutic for me knowing that uh, there are that many other people that are awake, that are on the same page, and uh, for me to be a part of that is just, uh, you know, astounding, and for everybody else that's been a part of that, you know, thank you for chiming in and, you know, spreading the word and, uh, 
you know, getting all these other leaders on board. It, it's good to have us all. Everybody's been so respectful to each other, and uh, we've had a, a variety, a slew of different backgrounds and um, regions and, uh, you know, ages all time in. You know, we've heard everything from an 87-year-old, you know, man uh, down to, uh, you know, an 18-year-old kid that I know personally that chimed in. And uh, it's good to just Let me touch on this, Brian. Generations on the same page. Let, I'm sorry? Let me, touch on, let me touch on exactly what you're talking about. You know, all in, the, all in the news, all I've seen lately, you know, racial divide, religion divide, just complete divide of this country, and you see it from the damn president. You see it from Eric Holder crying because he got grilled in, in his uh, congressional hearing. You know, he claimed that he was the f- – no attorney general has ever been treated like this. Well, there's been an attorney general. I forgot his name, but he was thrown in jail. You know, but, the, but they play this card. They split them up. Look at – and I'm not <clears throat> getting into a side here, but look at the Trayvon Martin situation. First of all, Zimmerman was half Hispanic. Trayvon Martin, you know, whatever happened, happened. But to make it a racial thing is just to divide the damn country. Look at this. I see pictures. You know, tonight, uh, my son, my five-year-old, he's got his, his friend over here, same, same grade. His friend's black. My son's white. And half, well, quarter Hispanic, three-quarters white, and his son's black. They don't see racism at all. Kids do not see racism until they're taught it. You know, and uh, I look now, and you're exactly what you're talking about. Everybody... Black, Asian, white, Hispanic. If you're a patriot, you're a patriot. We don't see color. We don't see religion. We don't see age. We see we're Americans defending our God-given rights. You know, that should just tell everybody right there, racism is a politically motivated agenda. It truly, really is and always has been, in my opinion. Am I wrong? I mean, yeah. I mean, to to a degree, it just really... It's kind of different for everybody, man. There's a pretty broad matrix out there, so I don't really say a lot of, uh, you know, everyone and no one and all the time and none of the time, you know. There's, there's such a myriad and a matrix of uh, events, you know, and people's perceptions, you know. Wait, <laughs> you know, wait, kind of still on? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. I want you both to kind of touch on that with me. Go, go ahead, me. Uh, I, I, I'd like to hear from you, man. Yeah, um, for me, when I look at when I look at things, um, I didn't grow up in the way of a whole lot of racist names being called at me, um, being being um, being a Black American. But I'll say this: when I got into the military, and that taught me a whole lot about. <coughs> Color, color doesn't mean anything as long as everybody does it. I mean, well, it, it doesn't mean anything, period. You have people that are on your team, and they have to watch your back, and you have to watch theirs. And that's how, that's what molded me. So I don't really look at color. I look at your character. If you can help that's me, if, if you can support me, if you can back me up or I can back you up, then that means a whole lot to me. If it turns out that you are like the mainstream media of today that do this um, separation by color divide um, or this administration that doesn't say anything about it or that even enhances uh, uh, the color divide uh, or gender divide um, or business um, divide, then, I mean, to me, they're nothing. They're nothing, and um, what you're seeing out here in Nevada, what you're seeing out there are American patriots going out there, um, and I wish that there were more cameras on the ground. Uh, Brian, somebody asked uh, where they're going to be a where they're going to be a little bit more um, uh, live feed or any anything out from the ranch because uh, they are. They want to see some more stuff. But to finish the um, statement, you you see patriots going out there, and of all of all colors, hopefully, um, I haven't seen a lot of the video, but I did um, the video that I put up the other day showed. Oh my God! I mean, you just wanted to go. 
You just wanted to go and help support, no matter what the color was. You just wanted to go and help support to show that government is too big but not strong enough to overcome the American spirit. Word. Absolutely. Are you still there with 